Overseas investors with a proven track record will receive accelerated approvals under a revamp designed to lure foreign capital into Australian shores. Joining us live is the Treasurer, Jim Chalmers. Treasurer, good to see you this morning. Thanks for your time. So who will be getting the rails run here on foreign investment? Oh, morning, Pete. Uh, what this overhaul of our foreign investment framework is all about uh, is strengthening it so that we can minimise risk, uh, but also uh, where there is uh, investment which is clearly in our national interest, uh, to streamline it where we can. What happens right now is the system gets more or less gummed up uh, by spending a lot of time and resources on low-risk proposals. Uh, we want to spend more time and effort and energy and resources on the higher risk proposals in some of our critical industries. And that's why we are substantially strengthening the foreign investment regime, making it more robust so that we can minimise risk and maximise the right kind of investment. OK. Uh, the concern from the opposition, and they've already been on about this today, um, and while it does support foreign investment when it's in our national interests, their concern is that by favouring preferred industries, you make things harder for other industries. Is that the case? Oh, of course not. You know, they're not awash with economic credibility. We, we, we understand that every time that they open their mouth. You know, if they don't want Australian workers and businesses to get a bigger slice of the action as the global economy changes, uh, they should just say so. That's what a future made in Australia is all about. It's not about manufacturing the past, it's about powering the future. It's about making ourselves an indispensable part of the global net zero transformation. That's what the future made in Australia is all about. Uh, it is only partly uh, about substantial public investment. It's also about attracting private investment uh, from around Australia and indeed from around the world, but making sure that where it comes from other parts of the world that it's in our national interest and that's why we're strengthening the foreign investment. Your program. own hand-picked Productivity Commissioner, though, is concerned about future made in Australia. Rod Sims says it will worsen inflation by exacerbating existing labour shortages, so is there a danger that all of this backfires? No, uh, in short, uh, and I obviously listened closely uh, to the, the head of the PC, Danielle Wood. I thought she made some important but uh, relatively self-evident points. We need to get value for money. Uh, there needs to be off-ramps. Uh, we need to make sure that there are strict frameworks governing the sorts of investments that we will make. Uh, and so I think some of those points are the sorts of things that we have been taking into consideration as we finalise this package for the budget. Uh, we will get value for money. We will be more focused on economic security. We will be focused on making our economy more competitive and more productive, uh, making ourselves an indispensable part of the global net zero economy uh, and making sure that we're investing in the capabilities of our people and our regions. These are the sorts of very strict uh, tests and frameworks which we intend to legislate, which will govern our public investment uh, in these important objectives. But again, recognising uh, that the public investment is not about replacing private investment, it's about attracting it. 